moving on from that one i quickly wanted to touch upon this because i thought this was flipping the greatest thing ever so supreme have announced supreme have announced the brand new undercover and supreme collection and i have to be honest it looks absolutely fire this might be one of my favorites so far there's a long lasting collaboration and relationship between undercover and supreme they've done some great collections in the past that people have loved i still kind of you know i'm fantasizing about those bondage pants from a few years ago that came out that were done really well but i feel like this might be the hardest thing i've seen in a while our hardest thing I've seen in a while. So it's Collection Supreme. It says Supreme has worked with Undercover on a new collection for spring 2023. The new collection consists of a trench puffer coat jacket, puffer jackets, BDU jackets, track jacket, SS shirt, um, two hooded sweatshirt, layered jeans, six panel hats, and more. And will be available on March 30th. And then in, in Japan will be available on April 1st. And why did I say it's the hardest? because of the first image this first image might be one of the hardest things i've seen from undercover and supreme in a while so the first image what you've got here is this amazing this amazing almost sensational teal looking puffer jacket with um leather sleeves the studs on the top and near the cuff that looks absolutely beautiful but another thing that's really the piece de resistance are these pants that have these um flannel shirt type of effect around the waistband and you think that's an actual shirt like a styling tip it's not what it actually is, is like a flannel shirt that's got a zip that you tie it around your waist so it kind of looks like a it looks like a shirt wrapping around your legs but it's actually like another bit of a layer like kind of basically a belt in a way which is pretty cool but I love that puffer jacket. That puffer jacket is so fucking hard. I'm a sucker for a good puffer jacket or just a jacket in, in general with a good sleeve on it. And you can see a bit of the pants here, what I, what I described earlier on. You can see a bit of it here um, in this picture with the jeans. So you got a picture of the, the shirt here with the jeans and you've got the zips that run across here so you can kind of um, strap or kind of zip up your shirt around your waist i think that looks absolutely special i flipping love these i'm honestly that puffer jacket with the black sleeves looks absolutely incredible i love the loose fitting nature of these jeans right it's giving 90s it's giving early 2000s i love this nondescript arabic flipping font on the crotch here very very Jap very japanese right um, just converting words um, from English and putting them in flipping, you know, Arabic flipping script and having them in the crutch area is definitely on brand. I'm loving this over trench coat that they have here. So essentially, you've got this trench coat that has a um, detachable puffer jacket on the inside lining with a hood on it which is pretty cool you don't really see that too often a trench jacket with a um detachable puffer jacket that also has a hood i think that looks pretty cool and of course the tracksuit here with this brain logo with the bones sticking out of it which i think is really a bit of a win and you've got the same sort of like you know um arabic lettering here on the back also um and again the pictures are awesome because it looks like with the pictures it looks like they're taking they've taken regular lookbook pictures of the items but then they've also decided to screen print or maybe take a phone and take a picture of the lookbook pictures from their phone and upload it so i quite like that effect but one of my favorite pieces of this is this camo print this camo print looks so fucking hard like this is diff this is definitely giving Capone and Noriega. This is definitely giving Cameron and Dipset early 2000 vibes. You've got this nice sand colorway in camo, desert sand. You've got this nice black sort of colorway also going on there. And you've got this nice hit with Undercover Supreme here towards the back. And again, the fit looks really good. Nice and relaxed. Nothing too tight. Nothing too crazy. You've got, again, the same jacket. He's got the same tracksuit pant. Sort of like pattern style there with the brain logo. I love this paneled long sleeve. This is actually beautiful with this nice barbed wire um, design here on the middle. I really like that. And then on the sleeves or this long sleeve, you've got anti-U, anti-war. I'm not too sure if this is commentary on what's happening over there in Ukraine and Russia, but I love it. And again, you've got this kind of detachable belt flannel thing going on there as well, which I love and I think will be really popular with a lot of people. But that looks absolutely brilliant. You've got some nice tartan shirt there, a nice flipping um, spray. It looks actually like a speech bubble spray top as well. That looks pretty cool. That tartan is really nice, which I've seen. I think they've used that print, that exact print in a couple of shirts before supreme anyway that kind of level of title with the red and the yellow and the black and stuff because there's a bit looks like yellow maybe that line is yellow i'm not too sure but i'm sure they've used that time before because i'm sure i had a shirt from supreme from like 2015 
that's a long sleeve that had exactly the same tartan i'm pretty sure um but anyway we continue more nice track suits um a nice t-shirt here that says sup with a decent little um illustration in the back or artwork i'm not really too sure what that is we've got another hooded top here also that says anti you um which is nice also we've got a bunny there with the middle finger kind of pursed up and then we've got this hat as well with the studded buttons on it on the top of the spikes but yeah the stuff's awesome we've got this nice puppet um t-shirt here puppet master i'm a big fan of that it kind of looks a little bit like cowboy b-pop this logo it's giving cowboy beat pop a little bit there but yeah love everything about it it looks really really cool and again these little bags this little satchel thing is a really cool look as well the style looks amazing but yeah this puffer jacket piece is definitely going to be a standout and definitely i think anticipate being very popular when it does eventually drop it comes in all black and then you've got this nice teal colorway with this sort of brown effect sleeve I'm not too sure what colorway is the best i think they're both equally as hard but these are really nice and then um, you've got this trench coat that I mentioned earlier with the detachable um, puffer jacket hood type of thing as well. That looks really nice. Then you've got the jeans that I mentioned before with the detachable um, tartan flannel belt thing that goes around you, which I think it looks a really, really clever idea to have it sort of zipping around there and to make it look like you've got your flannel wrapped around you, you know, Kurt Cobain style, but actually it's zipped on your pants and there's a nice undercover supreme hit at the back here 2023 anti-war so definitely wear these when you get invited to the flipping kremlin to see putin in it definitely wear those you've got different colors of the pants it comes in black like denim and chino colorway i like those maybe you can interchange a shirt if you wanted to then you've got the camo the studded bdu oh it's a studded bdu jacket where's the studs there's meant to be studs on this where is it i don't see the studs where's the studs on here oh studs all over the front wow i love this that looks really cool i didn't actually even see the studs they're all over the front of the jacket this might be in there being bucks but this is really 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 nice i love this this looks super 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 cool i'm a big fan of all of this the pants look really nice as well nice little fit on them and shape and uh, again more so with the other kind of camera pants you got the nice what is this called it's a track jacket with the brain and the cross and the sort of bones logo they look pretty nice also with the track pants there again we continue more track pants the flannel shirt which looks obviously awesome um in different colors and then this is one of my favorite pieces actually this um moto jersey i love the paneling on this especially on the sleeve here you've got this really nice Wrangland sleeve design and then it kind of cuts away here and it looks like there's two different materials maybe there's a bit of mesh there a bit of mesh underneath this you know the armpit so you can sweat and wick out more and you've got this nice little phrase here anti you anti war we love that we love that we love that solidarity with my ukrainian brothers and sisters i guess maybe who knows but yeah we continue on there nice little bits and pieces i'm not really fond of some of the sweat pieces the anti you with the middle fingers a little bit too um a little bit too infantile for me to be wearing around because i remember i used to love that i used to love um wearing supreme stuff that said the f you all over it and whatnot but now you know when you're a little bit old it's a little bit kind of it's a little bit um kind of cringe to flip in be wearing that stuff i like the sup as well um logo that looks pretty decent and nice tea design and again that um you know that puppet master t-shirt design looks cool the studded hat not really for me unfortunately that's not gonna be too small to kind of fit my gigantic head um but this belt waist bag is fucking amazing this is definitely the great place to take great bag to take to a rave you can have different stuff in there right you can have some dmt have some cat have some coke have some pills have some mushrooms have some lsd right you can put them all in a little different satchel if you go in and you know depending on if the security such as each bag you can decide what you end up taking in there it could be a bit of a pick and mix in terms of what you take to a nightclub and again we've got a nice little rug and to you with a middle finger on them also which is a little bit excessive to have you know some middle finger rug in the middle of your flipping house but hey what can you do big fan of this in general coming out on the 30th um so if you are um you know eager to get a bit of undercover and supreme check out the website on the 30th i think a lot of that will be available to purchase when it does drop when it does end up dropping